It's the combination of African creativity and American technical talent. Nollywood USA is actually more than 4,000 kilometers from Hollywood. Ghanaian musician, singer, composer and actor turned movie producer Kobe Maxwell is one of the pioneers of this emerging production hub. Nollywood USA is producing a lot of Nollywood films, bringing the actors from back home to shoot the movies here. So to me, I think my goal is to um, merge the growing industry of African film, African cinemas, to the world and also to the American audience to understand what we can do and what we know how to do, uh, telling African stories, our own stories. Nigeria and Ghana's movie industries created the Nollywood genre. Action! They're wildly popular in Africa and the Caribbean, but have struggled with worldwide distribution in movie theaters. U.S. cinematographer Tim Wilson says the goal of Nollywood USA is to improve the visual and overall technical quality to compete strongly in the global marketplace. And when I first saw the videos, I was appalled by the quality of the videos because uh, I thought that they could be doing a much better job at them. So uh, we decided we'd work together to improve Nollywood. It's something that's very underground, but it's at a point where it's blossoming and it's about to explode and become a phenomenon. Screen actor Jimmy Jean-Louis, who's straddled the French and American media markets, is a powerful presence in the new production and is also keeping in touch with the team via video chat. This movie is, is a great representative of, of what's going on now and also of the future of, of, of Nollywood. Ghanaians feature strongly in the cast, including Van Vicker, and John Dumello and Yvonne Nelson, who play a husband and wife trying to rekindle their relationship in Las Vegas. The Haitian former Miss Universe, Saraj Burton, also has a major role, along with Cameroonian actress Sandra Fondufe. Hey, Cameroon, what up, what up? The movie is also a launch pad for other emerging talent, including American actress Fatima M. Cisse, who has parental roots in Guinea and Sierra Leone. Nollywood is really inviting, and even if you're Spanish, even if you're Indian, they, will, they just love to, to see you, and especially, well, particularly if you have talent, to see you in their movies. The film's diverse casting is at the core of veteran Nigerian director John Uche's vision for Nollywood USA. The, the audience are expanding real fast. For instance, here in the US, you find out that it's not just Africans who are watching the movies anymore. We have Caribbeans, we have Hispanics watching the movie, we have Americans, both black and white, watching the movies. So it's really spreading. It exposes them to the fact that, hey, Africa is, is a continent, and in this continent there are different countries. And then these are different cultures from these different countries, you know. So it's, it's, it's really doing a lot beyond just the business angle. It's doing a lot to inform people about Africa. The movie receives its premiere here in Washington during the week of the Nollywood and African Film Critics Awards, known as the Nollywood Oscars, being hosted this September here at the historic Warner Theatre. Daniel Wrench's CCTV, Washington.